How are you guys doing? Chris Ignato here. And, uh, well, here's a video of a camp trip we did very recently. And it was pretty cool. I mean, it rained for about half the trip. And the other half was good weather. Really fun stuff. Um, when it wasn't raining, there were things to find. And I will give you a taste of those things. And then there will be a lot of future uploads based on those creatures that we found. So, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy and check it out. There's mouse or half a mouse on the mountain of luggage. Two nights. Two nights. Okay. So we're at French Creek in the Sea Loop because we brought mouse. And we are in site C19, right? Yeah. Check this out, guys. Check this out. Look at all this space. One of those terrible fire pits, but that's it's worth it. We've got, I don't even know if you could tell, we've got a lot of space. That tree over there is probably 40 feet away. Okay. If you did help me, I helped you with your tent. I asked you twice. <laughs> that worked good. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. Often squirrels will do this to dry the mushrooms to prepare them for the fall. I don't know if a human did that or not, but that's how you can wind up trapping squirrels. You take their mushrooms down and put them in a pile and there's some more there. Uh, those are, it's, I guess it's resonant chambers. I just can't believe he's alive. I've got a video about cicadas, about this species. I think it's a species. I haven't looked at them yet. And they've got hollow chambers inside. They amplify their song and they flex their abdomen and their, their little drum type thing. And it makes all the noise, but there you go. And I think there's a, an ant or some kind of tiny little wasp in there. There are a lot of caterpillars and stuff in there. Right on their path in front, you know? wonder how many lose their lives if they get stepped on. I know. His head coming out. Hold still for a long time so I can focus. Oh. These ones have already done their spores. Okay, so Heather doesn't want me to eat them. They are predators. You know how I know? I put it in a container with two other uh, bush crickets one night, and when I got home, which was like 20 minutes later, they were dead. The only thing left of them were like a couple of legs. And then the cricket, I'm shaky, folded the leaf in half and basically made silk and held the leaf folded, and he slept in it. I don't know where their silk glands are or how they do it. 
That's the deal. They get bigger than this. This is a male. And it's a female. Finally got to wear my Under Armour that I found in the woods a bunch of weeks ago. Um, nobody ever claimed it, so finally I took it. And it's awesome, because these are expensive. Anyhow, that's not what I'm here for. I finally got me a true Katie did uh, to show you guys and later tonight if the rain ever stops I'll be able to show you what they sound like um, they make two noises Katie did Katie did Katie did Katie did and Katie didn't Katie didn't Katie didn't Katie didn't except it doesn't really sound like that it sounds like they're you'll see really cool. the lighting's horrible but there you go that's what they look like. Awesome, isn't it? Love these insects. They are so cool. They look like a leaf. Look at those veins in the wings. <laughs> See, she's getting rectangle head. That's her curious head, like. You hear that? Where's Mouse? Where's Mouse? Where's Mouse? <laughs> she's looking for Mouse. Best dog ever. She found her. Mouse, don't be out in the rain. Get back in the tent. Go on, in the tent. Get in the tent. She listens to me. One looks kind of armored. Not sure what the head is. We've got sun, the glorious star in the sky. Finally, after days of rain and nights, the sun is out. <laughs> See this? See that, how this looks nice and feathery? Is it focusing in there? Uh-huh. Okay. Now this, so this is yarrow. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called Achilles officinalis. It was named after Achilles, as you all know, um, who Achilles was. Because where it is, 
the gods told Achilles to use this plant to help fight infection and to stop bleeding for him and his soldiers because that's what it does. It helps stop bleeding if you have a strong wound and it fights off infection. I've actually packed it into wounds a couple of times and I've made strong teas and tinctures and stuff out of it and either washed the wound or drank it and stuff. But I just love it anyway. There's snake sign, pretty sure. Going right along there. See that? Okay guys, so because this video is so long, I've decided I'm going to break it up into two parts. Um, I really hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far, and the second half of the video will be concluded next Saturday. So stay tuned guys, and uh, until then, thanks a lot for watching, Chris Ignato, signing out.